Hey, it's Mark with a real quick update for paid subscribers. Crypto is easy. You saw Bitcoin drop today. It's not a significant drop. I know it probably seemed pretty sudden, and it was and it was fairly sudden. Um, it, but it, it, you know, when you look at it in the big picture, price is still higher than it was not even two weeks ago, ten days ago, nine days ago. Really, um, we're higher than we were nine days ago. But I've been talking about this for a while now. That the you know right now. The market is really not in our favor, and it's gonna and, and it's gonna take either a really significant drop or a really long time to kind of you know um, a really long time to kind of let let people catch up to the price um, to the point where we're gonna be in a position where we are going to where where my plan is gonna say that we need to um, buy more Bitcoin that we need to put put more money and more investment in the market. So um, I, I, um, I'll have a more thorough, uh, a little bit deeper update later this week, or maybe even tomorrow. We'll see. Um, that's That'll look a little bit more about the data and, and go into a little bit more depth. But I know that um, this, this move could have seemed pretty sudden. We're just going to have to see where it goes. Um, we're not going to, I'm not getting ahead of myself. There was a very specific if you're a trader, you probably would have done great today because there was a very specific technical pattern that I don't really know why it wasn't all over YouTube, but it was very clear and obvious on a very short-term chart where once price went below 18,600, it was certainly going to go lower. The question is how much lower. It's not it, it, just because we went down, it doesn't mean that we're going to have that crash that I was calling for and I and I do think we should, I mean we should expect a crash. Are we going to get it? We'll see. But we know that the market is not in our favor and that has nothing to do with price. It just has to do with the same data that I've told you about for weeks now. And, and that hasn't changed substantively. I'll go into more depth and detail later this week. Um, I'm still waiting. The plan calls for us to wait. We're gonna, so we're going to wait and, and check the link below. I linked to the plan. You should be familiar with it. If not, please check it out. Email me if you don't understand. The bottom line for right now is... Nothing's changed. A five percent, six percent for Bitcoin means nothing. It is meaningless. It is irrelevant. We are still higher than we were ten days ago. Ten days ago, if you would have said somebody, "Hey, in ten days we're going to be up at eighteen thousand two hundred," people would be like, "Oh, that's great! Oh, I got to buy right now." So that's just kind of the ebbs and flows of the market. We're going to have to see how this, how this, how this, how this plays out over the next few weeks. If history serves as a guide, it's not going to get any better, at least in the short term. But there's still a lot of momentum in this market. If you're antsy, if you're if you're worried, just buy a little Bitcoin or, or whatever. Buy all its Bitcoin, any whatever. Just you know, you should. This is not a time to stress. When we get up to like, when we get where where this market goes and we're near that market cycle peak, that's when you need to be stressed and disciplined and really worry about what you're doing. We have the the luxury, we have the benefit, we have the good fortune of being invested now. When we don't have to worry about that so much. So just buy, just buy, just, just don't, don't just make sure you keep some cash, some, some, some ease, some cheap money, some cheap credit, keep it on the side, keep it ready because more likely than not, if history is our guide, if the, if 12 years of history repeating again and again, and again, probably over you know, several, let me think right now, I'm going to do a quick calculation, probably about Somewhere between 15 or 20 times we've seen the same conditions in the market. Maybe 15. Something around there. 15 or 20 times we've seen the same conditions and every single time it has played out the same way, which is a significant drop. The difference now is we're just going to have to see whether that's the 30 or 40% of, 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 of the, that, that amount is going to be 30 or 40% like it was in the past or whether this market is just so big, the infrastructure around it so big, the, the, the amount of money that it takes to move the market is so much greater that instead of getting 30 or 40% drops, we're going to get maybe 20 or 25% drops. That's the question. But we're definitely not in a position where we need to stress too much about buying. So you know, buy if you want. The plan calls for us not to buy. We're going to wait for the market to turn back in our favor. I'll explain more in a video soon. Rest assured, a 6% drop, just like a 6% up, 
a 6% down, that's normal volatility, which is insane. Any other market, people would be like flying off the handles. You know, U.S. Congress would be, you know, the U.S. Central Bank would be getting together with Europe and Japan and, and everybody and they'd be like a big bailout. They could be contemplating a bailout, 6%. Oh my God, it's down 6%. And in Bitcoin, it's just another day. So don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. If you're antsy, buy some Bitcoin. If you want to stick to the plan, if instead of buying now, you want to stick to the plan, I would encourage you to do that, but not worry about it either way. Relax and enjoy the ride.